Okay, so what I have here is I have a, a Ubiquiti Nano Bridge M5, so the Maverick 5 uh, Nano Bridge station. I have flashed it with the Arden software, the A-R-E-D-N, the Arden uh, firmware, and it was it had become completely unresponsive. So what I have is I've got this set up and hooked up to um, my computer via serial cable. It was a pain in the butt to get open, but I got it. So you can see I've got this set to COM10, uh, or excuse me, the serial cable is uh, on COM10. Um, I'll go ahead and create a new session uh, just to kind of give you an idea as to what I did. I'm using PuTTY for this. I select serial. Uh, what I can do is I will set this to 10, um, set the speed to uh, 115200, and then press OK. Uh, I've already got this up, so I'm just going to go ahead and clear this out. Uh, but basically what happens is I'm going to go ahead and give it a reboot. I'm just going to tell it to reboot. I've got it plugged into the serial cable. Skip that auto boot. Right there you just saw it say auto boot, uh, pressing one, two, three. Do not hit any keys. What it's going to do is right here it's going to say hit F uh, when it says hit the F key and then hit enter to enter the fail safe mode. Oh, I think I might have missed it. Right, what it'll do is it'll bring it up here. Um, so let me, I'll scroll back up there a little bit. So when you first see the auto boot right here and it starts counting down, do not, do not press any of the buttons for the auto boot. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to unplug the PoE right now and then plug it back in just so then that way you can see it. Okay, so you're going to see the auto boot come up. I just unplugged it and plugged it back in. So skip that. Wait for it to give you this message right there. Press F and enter. There you go. So it says, there you go, you're plugged in, it's via serial. Uh, the next step that I did is you're going to want to do this. You're going to want to do uh, type in first boot. You can actually tab complete it to show that, uh, you know, you, you are selecting the right one. Press enter. It says, um, this will erase and remove uh, settings and any installed packages. Are you sure? We're going to go ahead and press yes. You're going to start see it starting to uh, erase different blocks. So it's going to go through, do this. And when it's done doing this, then what you need to do is you actually need to do a force restart on this. Uh, the issues that I was seeing with this, I was not able to... Okay, there we go. So it just finished. So I'm going to do reboot-f for force. And now it's going to do a full reboot. And we're going to be able to see it come back up all the way. Um, so what had happened is I had actually messed around at a whole bunch of different settings, changed it, told it to reboot, and it never came back. I tried doing TFTP, and it wasn't able to even connect to that either. Um, there was I was completely 100% locked out, so I ended up having to break the uh, cement seal on the top of the, uh, the nano bridge, the M5 uh, nano bridge, and I'm going to have to epoxy it back on now. But I was able to slide it out. The nice thing is that there were already headers that were on uh, soldered onto the nano bridge device on the inside. So all I had to do is just get a serial uh, USB cable. And uh, that was it. So I'm hoping that that was all that there is to it. Um, I don't have it connected to my computer. That's going to be uh, step two. Okay, so I've just plugged in. Um, this, uh, this, uh, the PoE injector actually into the back of my laptop, same PoE injector that's powering the M5 nano bridge. So now I'm going to go ahead and try the local, the local, uh, node dot mesh. See if that comes up with anything. Oh, first things first, I'm going to open up my change all this stuff. One six. Oh, actually, no. The Arden 
It's unlike the Ubiquity stuff, so I'm actually going to put it into DHCP mode. And wait for it. And if this has worked, then I should get an IP address. So now I can do IP config and scroll up to see the local area. Local.mesh. Boom! That's exactly what we wanted. So it looks like this has successfully worked. So now um, I'm going to go ahead and do local node. <laughs> yeah! And as you can see, I am completely back in business. I'm going to slide it over here so that way we can see this a little bit better. There we go. Looks like I am set up. Uh, the one thing that you're going to want to remember, uh, you need to type in root. The default password is HSMM. So Hotel Sierra Maverick Maverick. And now I can go ahead and start my configuration of the uh, of my node.